Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft, and we're going to do something on the mill we haven't done in a while. The channel's been experiencing growth. We got a lot of new subscribers, and I want to show you guys what the Frontier Mill can do the way I have it set up. I'm going to do this video in real speed. I'm not going to... Maybe I won't even do any editing except for the beginning, you know, but I think I'll just leave one cut and you will be able to watch how fast you can mill with uh, a Frontier sawmill. Now, keep in mind, I have the up-down carriage feed and I have the power feed too. So that will change things just a little bit, but you can still push it faster than I'm pushing it as well. So let's see how big this log is. 11 inches inside the bark. Thirteen inches. I'm gonna lift this side up maybe a half an inch then. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And I think it is a little over eight feet, maybe almost nine feet long. It's uh, eleven, uh, eight feet, eleven inches. So nine feet. Not sure why I did that. This is for a little project I'm building. It's got to be white oak. It's got to be outdoor, little weathery, pr weather protection. There, we'll, we'll go with that. Little breezy, hopefully you can hear me. If this is bad audio here, maybe I can adjust it. Uh, I'll just do a talk over. Uh, I was just about to mention something. Oh, <laughs> so for the people who are new following me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a slab off. Fl I flip it 180 degrees. A lot of people just flip it 90, that's that's uh, each their own. This works for me really well. Then I turn it up 90 and square it. I don't trust my backstops. Plus, when I turn it over 180, I think I only cut through the bark twice. And if you turn it 90, I think you cut through the bark three times. One, two, yeah, probably three. Uh, but anyhow, let's get this cut. I haven't even fired up the mill yet. We're going to get a timer going. And we'll go from there. All right, here we go. I don't want to talk too much, like I do often, only because uh, this what might turn into a longer video. I'm hoping we get this log done in about 30 minutes. And I'm going to tell you, if I do do some editing, I will leave this here and occasionally come up and show it to the camera. So we're just going to get it running. Here we go, guys. We're, we're, we're live action. Let's get this fired up. <sighs> oh boy. Tell me I left my cup there. Okay, get that picked up. A little bit of water. A couple of drips.
Frontier does have hydraulics on the Frontier OS35 as an option. The OS27 doesn't. Let's get some dirt off of that real quick. I had this laying in sawdust, but there is some dirt on it.
kind of cut these pretty thick. But I don't need that many boards, so. Actually,
So far, so good. We're not running into anything. All right. If we go forest somewhere around there, it's clampered. It, but we are cutting white oak and white oak's hard all right boards
Hey, that's all. That's it. We got seven, three, eight boards in 22 minutes. What would a white oak one by nine, nine foot long cost? Quite a bit. 22 minutes. So are these mills worth it? If you're a hobbyist like me or just a homesteader, homeowner, and you have a wood lot, I would say absolutely it's worth it. I've cut tens of thousands of board feet on that. Uh, probably, I was keeping track and going into last summer, we had over 50,000 board feet milled on this so, so far. So I'm guessing this summer, I prob I'm not milled as much this summer. I know it looks like it on camera. Um, I've probably only milled 15,000 board feet this summer. 10, to, yeah, probably somewhere around there. So we're probably 65 to 70,000 board feet this year or total on this mill. So I would say it's worth it. You learn a lot as you go. Would I buy the Frontier Sawmill again? I absolutely I would. Oops. Knocked it right off. There we go. Take a look at these boards in just a second here. I'm gonna use these tomorrow, so I'll clean these off tomorrow. Let's take a look. Well, let, let me get the cleaner or the scraper so you can see this one. We're right here. <sighs> these putty knives work great for cleaning or a foxtail broom. So let's just, don't, excuse me, hiccups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine inch, actually they're about eight inch boards. Um, excellent, everything on this table is for that project I'm working on. And I might take you along with me on that project. And I do wanna ask a question. I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, shorts and stuff. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Do you like the videos when I go out hunting, stuff like that as well? If you do, you know, I probably will still keep making them, but I do enjoy making those kind of videos, just some, change it up a little bit or look, a few other things we're doing here at the homestead. Um, so I think I might even add, you know, sometimes I do put videos out on Sunday. I've got so many sawmill videos in the can right now. I mean, I think I have about 15 sawmills videos in can and i don't want to get so far ahead but i do have a winter series coming out <laughs> so keep that in mind but i uh so i think i'm gonna start adding some maybe on sunday where some odds and ends or maybe friday if i don't have any wood splitting videos so maybe you'll see me out here a little bit more often well i'm out here often i don't always film it so okay guys real life speed took 22 minutes to mill a complete log from log uh, all those boards so all right we'll see you at the mill next time take care